guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because I've been wanting to do this video for a while because these are the main little items that I had bought in because I'm a minimalist or because I adapted a minimalist lifestyle and these items have made my life so much more easier than they, when it was before because I did not even know anything about any of these items and when I found them I was like yes finally someone came out with products that I actually like and that are not wasteful and that I don't know that just serve me a purpose rather than just adding clutter to the house. But anyways you guys if you do like this video make sure to throw a thumbs up down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and also everything that I am mentioning all the little products I only have five. Um, they will be linked down below so if you guys would like to check them out and this video is not sponsored the links are affiliated um, that's about it but I really hope you enjoy these products as much as I do and if you do own these products let me know down below as well in the comment section um, I would like to know that I'm not alone with these being my favorite minimalist items but without further ado let's get straight on to the video so the first item I'm going to talk about is the one I have in the thumbnail which you guys are probably wondering what is that thing which is this right here this is my steamer um, it's travel size and this thing heats up pretty freaking fast I bought it off Amazon for around $20 or 30 around there I've had it ever since this thing works really fast it works awesome it does take time to get used to so when you are doing um, the little stroke thing part it took me forever to get used to not tilting it and then the water would like get onto my shirt and then you have to wait for it to dry and stuff like that but other than that once when you find your own technique with um steaming your clothes but i do have a couple dress up shirts that do require a steamer and i do steam my jeans once in a great while um if they are kind of dingy and messy looking um i will get the wrinkles out and i do steam my comforter so my i hate when the comforters are all crinkly and a mess um hashtag neat freak um but i do steam that as well obviously i do have to refill the water um the top pot comes off easily you just fill it to the little max line that you see there and then you just want to clamp this back on turn it on let it heat up so basically you want to let it boil it does make weird crackling sounds don't worry that's normal i already contacted the seller about that and it's fine um the wire is fairly long as you guys can tell but i absolutely love this steamer um i know with this it gets rid of your iron and your iron board this is something that i did not want in my house so once when i'm done using it i will wrap this around the whole body of the little steamer and i will put this in my linen closet up top and then that's it and when i need it again i just take it down and repeat the process over again. So in my preference, I think this is an awesome minimalist product either to get someone for the holidays and also to have for yourself. You can bring it while traveling. I know with traveling, you can like take the top off and put the top somewhere else in your suitcase and just easily tuck it in and it, this is just a lifesaver to me and I am never ever going back to iron and iron and boards. No more. The next thing that I want to mention is that I love music. I listen to music constantly. If you guys are not following me on my Spotify account, I will have that link down below. But I listen to so many different genres and there's not a day I go without music. Hence the reason why I got music notes tattooed on my arm when I was like 20. But um, that's a whole other story. But anyways, I absolutely adore music. And with that being said, um, I used to have the regular headphones with the wire and those were fine but the thing with that is I didn't feel like it was minimalist enough. Um, not saying that you have to have certain headphones to be a minimalist but I felt personally that it wasn't uh, more of a comfort for me because I would have to lug around my phone and I do have the iPhone 6s Plus and you guys know that phone's freaking huge so to be lugging that around while being attached to a wire with headphones just really aggravated me because sometimes the phone will just fall on the floor and you know and I just have the wire hanging down from my neck from the headphones so eventually for my birthday I got the Apple AirPods and this is how they look they're super compact I love how long they last 
and they're just so tiny they connect so fast to my phone um, usually I will if I'm talking on the phone I will leave one in my ear and keep the other one charging in its little case I know this is a super pricey item I think it was about $200 for these but it's so well worth it there's no wires involved all you have to do is just charge the case and then it charges the little airpods and the airpods are 100% each and then the case has to be at 100% and then I'll just go down from there but this lasts forever I honestly can't remember the last time I charged these but these are a lifesaver especially when you're in the car and um, my car is old so I don't have a Bluetooth device like most of the cars out there so what I normally do is when there's a phone call that comes in I will not grab my phone and drive it's just no I just I hate that my phone's huge I do like the big phones but um, sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle with them so having this so if someone calls me all I have to do is my Bluetooth on my phone is always connected all I have to do is just take one headphone out put it in and it's connected and I can just have that one headphone in this is clear in case as an ambulance goes by so I'm actually really paying attention to the road um, so I could talk to someone with this ear so definitely i think these are an awesome gift as well um i wouldn't say for a kid because they would probably lose them but as for me i i honestly thought i was gonna lose them because they're so tiny but i haven't yet and it's been since july and i cherish these like they're my baby um babies i should say um and i do take them to work with me because as i'm cleaning and doing things at work i'll just pop these in and it's just it makes life so much easier without having anything attached to your body. The next item is definitely environmental friendly item and these are super inexpensive. And this is also one of my favorite items. I do own two of these and I will tell you the reason why. But that is my water bottles. So these are my stainless steel water bottles. Um, this one I got from my sister for my birthday and she knows hence I love plants and I love monstera plants That is my favorite plant in the entire world um, right beside birds of paradise But uh, with owning a plant I would say monsteras are my favorite So that's the reason why she got me this one and the cap just comes right off These things are amazing when it comes to reusable water bottles steel is the way to go it keeps your cold drinks cold for 24 hours and it keeps your hot drinks hot for 24 hours so you cannot go wrong I remember in the summertime I had ice in this thing and water in there and it was 80 degrees outside and it was 90 degrees in my car because it's hotter in your car with the summer um, and I do have leather and it just makes everything hotter so the ice was still ice surprisingly and that thing was in there all day long so I would say this is 10 times better than having water bottles because they are so bad for the environment, so bad for our ocean, our, you know, our waste. They just, they're horrible. Every time I see those Poland Spring damn water bottles, I just want to chuck them out of people's hands and give them one of these. Um, you will never have to buy water bottles again. I have a filter on my sink. I fill it up as I go. And also these are like, I want to say $10 to $20 not even depending on what kind of brand you get I do have another one this one is for my house and for my car I have one at work so I'm not lugging around this and I forget it um, I do have one at work specifically just for work it has my name on it and it has a handle uh, and that's all I use I don't use the paper cups at work I try not to use any disposable items because with those it just creates so much waste and stuff so definitely look into getting a reusable water bottle, uh, specifically stainless steel, because why not? This will save you so much money um, and it will last you a lifetime. The next item I want to mention is kind of funny because my nephew thinks it's a toy, but it's not. Um, it's these little dryer balls. These little guys have saved me so much money when it comes to me doing laundry. Um, I popped all four of them in the dryer and I put my clothes in there. And yeah, they make quite a little bit of a noise, like banging sound, but... I'm at the laundry mat, so it doesn't matter. If you use these at home, I heard that your it will cut your electricity bill when it comes to drying in half. I'm not sure how that is or how it works because I don't have a washer and dryer in my apartment, but I know for sure that it does cut the drying time in half because I remember I normally will put my dryer time on 
would say 70 minutes because I usually wash my bedding, my jeans, all that stuff, and I put it all together in the big giant dryer they have. And I put all these in and it cut it in half. So it was like 40 minutes and it was all dried up, toasty, non-staticky, and the best thing about this is there's no chemicals. So I was buying dryer sheets and I was going through them so many and then I ended up getting like a rash on my arm and I was wondering what it was from. I ended up going to the doctors and they said, are you using any like commercialized laundry soap? And I said, no, I use chemical free laundry soap. But then it dawned on me that I was using dryer sheets that contained sulfates and all that kind of stuff. So I ditched the dryer sheets and I just end up purchasing these off of Amazon. I think I paid like $5, $6. It'll be linked down below, but I love them. I know you guys are probably saying these aren't vegan friendly because they are plastic and stuff like that. These are the closest things I can find to vegan and chemical free friendly. Um, they do have the wool balls. Those are not vegan. I know a lot of people um, told me to grab those. Those are made out of wool, which is animal fur or hair and I do not own anything that is made with animal or from animals so I know they have bamboo ones but it, they're very rare to find they're not big in the market right now um, so if you guys ever come across the bamboo ones let me know but so far these um, their lifespan is about eight to ten years so I think I'm sticking with these for quite a while. And my last but not least favorite minimalist item is something that I purchased three years ago off Amazon and I am so happy I did. I remember back then I wanted this big giant vanity mirror where all the beauty gurus had and I wanted lights all around it to do my makeup. And then eventually I got over that princess stage and I found this. So you guys can probably see the camera right now, but um, this little guy is amazing because it has an LED light built inside and it gets pretty bright. Um, so all you do is touch it. It's touch screen right here. I know it's kind of awkward with the camera showing. I'll try to get it out of the way. But if you touch that little circle button, the light will go on. And it does take four AA batteries. It has a little stand in the back. Um, you can stand it any way. I used to have it on the side. I used to have it this way. And once when you're done using it, you can just... I usually just put it in my drawer now. I used to have it on my desk, but I kind of like a blank space. It's been through me dropping it a couple times and... Thankfully, it did not break, but I will link one down below. I'm, I'm not sure if they have the same exact one because it was three years ago, but I will try my best to find something very similar. I know they have some with stands on the bottom. I don't really like those because I don't really have anything to put on there. So, um, also look around at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I know they carry those as well. Those are an awesome gift for someone that likes to do makeup or, you know, I don't just use that for makeup. I actually use that to keep up with my eyebrows and stuff. And I use it also for like when I put my um, face creams on when I'm just in my bedroom. If I'm too lazy to go to the bathroom, that's the light I usually go for. But yeah, it's, it's an awesome little thing to have and it's definitely minimum when it comes to your desk area. It saves you space. Um, it saves you electricity for one. I will be looking into finding or getting rechargeable batteries so I don't constantly have to keep buying batteries. Batteries last really long in that mirror, probably more than three months because I don't really use it as often. When it comes to the light part, because I usually, if I'm putting makeup on, um, it's so simple right now that I usually just use daytime lighting and I never do my makeup at night. So the batteries last pretty long time in there. But I will be looking into rechargeable batteries. If you guys know any good brands, let me know down below because I know that takes batteries and there's something else in my house that takes batteries. I forgot what it was, but I'll think of it later. But there you guys have it. Those are my five top minimalist items of this year. Um, I absolutely love them. I know some of them aren't from this year, some of them from back then, but I thought I would show you guys them because I don't think I've ever mentioned any of my favorite minimalist items. Um, I know all the prices differently range from all of them and I think any of these would be a great gift for anybody, especially the, um, the AirPods and the Mira. I think around Christmas time people can get a lot of use out of those for a long time and, uh, and definitely the dryer balls. I know my mom's seen me using them and she is like 
on it. She wants to save money now. She, I know she wants to buy the reusable sponge that I use as well. So I think I'm on to uh, starting a trend here. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave you on that note. If you do try any of these products out, let me know down below how it works for you. Let me know if you love them as much as I do. So with that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.